This is code.org, and we have in my neighborhood.java. Check, that's the name of our file. Instantiate a painter object called my painter. All right, there's that fancy word again. So it looks like they want us to do this on line seven. I know because this comment, which is just for humans, not for the computer to read, computer skip them, slash slash to do seven. All right, and remember what instantiate means. We're using this painter class, which we cannot see. And I don't mean like a class like school. This file right here, public class my neighborhood, is a Java class. There's another one somewhere, another file that code.org isn't going to let us peek at, but it's the painter class. And we want to use the stuff in there. What's in there? Well, behavior such as move, such as turn left, such as paint. So to be able to use all that stuff, we need to create something that will represent it. So first I'm going to write the word painter, and this is the data type. I'll explain that in a second. They ask us to call the variable or our object, my painter. And what are we assigning to my painter? Well, it's going to be equal to a new painter, and then in parentheses, or just parentheses, nothing in them, and a semicolon. So this tells the computer, hey, we have a new painter object, all right? We named it my painter and now go grab all that stuff from the painter class and give it to my painter. So now my painter could do everything that's inside the painter class, which we can't see, but we got to trust them. There's move, there's turn left, all of that. All right. So we got this instantiated. Let's see what's next. Use the move, turn left, paint and take paint methods to navigate. Notice how these are all behaviors. So when we say method, think of a behavior, something that a object can do, or my painter can do. To navigate the my painter object, to paint each square to the path to the traffic cone. Okay, I'm going to scroll down a bit. Let's see where they start painting. Oh, all right. So we pick up this paint. Cool. All right. So I'm going to start with basics. Uh, we always start in the top left faced east, at least I think so. So I'll go ahead and say move, and this is completely wrong. We have to tell the computer move, move where. Computers are secretly very dumb, and we have to explain exactly what we mean. So for the computer to understand this, I would have to write my painter dot. Now the computer says, ah, you want to move your painter, and it can run this move method that's from the painter class. So my my painter object is going to move. And guys, I test a ton. I'm going to run this line, or I, I try out my code a ton, so I can find errors right away. Let's hit run. Bam. Okay, so we got there. Now what do we need? It looks like we're going to need to use take paint. I noticed the number three here, so I'll do... Because I saw last time that take paint is only going to take one paint. So let me write this a few times. Keep in mind, capitalization really matters. It has to be written exactly how the computer wants it to be, how it's expected. And since we capitalize the P in my painter, that also has to be exact. So that should be two. And that should be all three. All right, let me run this. That's looking good to me. No error so far. And now we get to start painting, I believe. So let me do mom painter dot paint whoop and then in quotes like they explain up here paint takes a variable so this time in between the parentheses mm, you should pick a fun color i guess i'll just do white because it's right here me maybe i'll do blue i don't know pick something fun don't be boring someone's gonna tell me blue's boring now i know it blue's the world's most often favorite color the most popular favorite color fun fact all right blue okay and then what well, looks like I need to plot forward and paint again. So we know how to move. Move. Blah, blah, blah. All right. And then, yeah, I'll need to paint. Orange. I don't know. I'm being interesting. And make sure you put your color names in quotes. Cool. All right. And now what? Looks like I'm going to need to move and paint again. I'm just going to copy this. Boop. Boop. And sure, let's do blue again. Cool. All right, now what? Looks like I'll need to turn right. But there's not a turn right. They only give us turn left. All right. So turn left, we would face north. Then we'd face west. So we're going to have to do that guy. 
three times. And there's no argument. We don't put anything in the parentheses. We're just asking to turn left. One, two, three. Good. And then we've got a looks like move. Boom. All right. Once we move, we are hopefully on top of this paint bucket. And there's another three. So I'm going to go ahead and say once, twice. I'm just doing command C, command V, or control C, control V, copy and paste, three times. I should try this out. Cool. All right. And now we got to paint three more times. And we hopefully should have enough paint. So let's say now I'll do green. And then move. And then, I don't know, uh, pink. Maybe I want to turn left here first. Oop. And again, guys, make sure you have the right capitalization. Let's see. Perfect. And code is run one step at a time. So, and in order. I'll do green again. Let's see what we got. Whoop, and what did I miss here? My, oh, a couple letters. Code is very picky. And it looks like we made it. Let's check. Bam, bam, bam. Instantiated. Look good. Tricky stuff there. All right, let's uh keep going. 